do I look tired? It's because I just did probably three and a half or four minutes and I went, oh, are we recording? Oh, we aren't recording. <sighs> just getting used to this whole situation. So I started off with, I wanted to show off my hat that I got from uh, Washington DC Book Fair. And um, I cannot live without books. Thomas Jefferson, 1815. I wear it more in the summer than I do in the winter, but I just, I thought about it today. I thought, you know, I need to have my book, on, my book hat on to do my next book, my next Virgil Flowers Escape Clause by John Sanford. This book is totally amazing. Two large tigers at the beginning of the book, 600 pound male and 400 pound female, are stolen from the Minnesota Zoo. Everyone is horrified. They want to hurry up and find the animals while they're still alive, and they're afraid that they have been animal napped um, for to be ground up and processed into medication because the Chinese have certain medications that they, um, it, this, their ancient culture uses. So that's what we're involved with initially. So it's not just, we start out, oh, okay, we've got the possible killing of it. I don't want to give anything away. How do you review a book without giving anything away, right? But there does wind up being a murder other than the murder of one of the cats initially initially one of the cats in the first few chapters you find out that that the male cat is killed and the rest of the they were just hoping to save the female cat but then other people involved in this horrific crime are murdered and the way that they're you know, there are some horrific parts of this book but it's treated in such a manner that you just get on with it, you know. You you get on with the mystery because you want to find out. You want him to find the culprits, and and these guys will stop at nothing. I mean, including going after his girlfriend and his girlfriend's sister. I mean, there's just there's there are all kinds of involvements and intrigue. Oh, I mean, the end. I, I finished reading it and I felt I have been on a trip. I am really tired. This has been an emotional journey. I mean, it just really is exciting and you don't want to put it down, but you, you get tired, you sleep, you got to sleep because you might annoy other people if you're just reading constantly. Mm, I've been reading a lot, but my next book, can't, can't light a candle to this one. I don't think this has been pretty exciting. And, um, I had some points that I was going to I was going to mention, but I, I did notice one thing. A bit of the sense of humor that I really enjoyed in the earlier books and his quirkiness, and it kind of disappeared in this book. So that lets me think it was why it's probably more tiring. It was pretty, it was pretty serious. And uh, we didn't get a lot of <laughs> out of this one as I did out of some of the other ones, but it, it was enjoyable. And, um, I'm, uh-oh, don't know what I did with my next book, but wouldn't you know, oh, I know why it hasn't come in the mail yet because it's coming in the mail. And I got the one after that in the mail. They were both ordered the same time, a twofer. And I, so I get the one after that, which I'm not ready to re read yet, but the next one is going to be. <sighs> oh boy where's my book <laughs> something about snow something about frost something about blizzard it sounds like Minnesota right now tune in for the next one and you'll find out the title of the next John Sanford talk to you later this has been Mrs. Murder saying 
talk to you later. <laughs>